ABC investigation has found many strata management contracts disproportionately favour strata managers over apartment owners. Some contract clauses guarantee commissions for strata managers and waive their liability even if they're negligent. These clauses are almost impossible to terminate and it's prompted calls from experts to overhaul the contracts to protect consumers from unfair terms. Echo Hoy from ABC Investigations joins us now. Echo, welcome to the program. Uh, just how many apartment owners use these type of strata management uh, contracts? So if you are one of the more than 2 million Australian mm. living in apartments and townhouses, there's a good chance your strata manager does use this type of contract. Um, they are promoted by a key industry body called the Strata Community Association or SCA. And these contracts are widely used by strata firms, large or small, across the nation. And there's a good reason for that. The SCA have long uh, promoted this contract as the industry's best practice and standard. So a lot of uh, strata firms, instead of drafting their own contract, they tend to like to use the SCA version of it, um, which is less costly for them. But the problem is, oftentimes, many apartment owners don't necessarily read them carefully before signing them. Yeah, and that's one of the big challenges for any types of contracts, isn't it? Uh, with, I'm curious about these SCA contracts. Uh, how and why might they end up leaving apartment owners worse off? So what apartment owners, specialists and some independent strata manager have told us is that um, these contracts are really long legal documents that are packed with fine print. This fine print would outline things like commissions the strata manager will receive or a declaration of perceived conflict of interest. Now, many, in many cases, this contract include terms that include full indemnity to strata manager even if they are neglect. And it also required owner operate, uh, corporation to give commissions on insurance, even if the agent is not involved in finding the policy in the very first yeah. place. So one of the senior lawyers we spoke to described his contract as really appalling, that they, she called it disgraceful, and really they are unfair to consumers. And if the, the strata man, if, if the contract uh, and the strata manager's performance is poor, just what does it take to actually terminate these types of contracts? In many cases, it means tens of thousands of dollars for those apartment owners because oftentimes you actually have to take them to court in order to stack them. And that's because in those contracts, it often also require mutual agreement to terminate the arrangement or you need to prove that your strata manager has actually disappeared to, in order for the termination to happen. And Echo, tell me, what are experts saying about this particular, the challenge and the issues with these contracts? And so many of the experts we spoke to believe there really should be a comprehensive review into the strata management contract and the government should really step in to create a more balanced model. Mm -hmm. They point out that there should be some specific consumer protections built into the legislation of this contract and the government can also rule out and ban the unfair terms as a way to deal with it. Yeah, quite a lot of work there. Echo Hoy from ABC Investigations there.